Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. And today we're going to be checking out a brand new offering from Super 7 and their TMNT Ultimates. This is a character that has never had an action figure before. And in the world of TMNT, that is definitely saying something. But of course, I am talking about the one, the only Gorilla Gorilla. Yeah, I like to play on words there. Of course, front and center, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He is a giant, we'll say mutated gorilla man. And the box, I'm not even joking, is hilarious. It's ridiculously big for a ridiculously big action figure. Now, on the back side, again, it's going to be the same usual sort of style. You're going to read up on Gorilla Gorilla, the freedom fighting ape in the Amazon. And if you were wondering... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles magazine, September 1991. This was the first and basically the only appearance of Gorilla Gorilla. And it's truthfully done in the style of the Archie Comics TMNT adventures. The artwork is done by Jim Lawson himself. And yes, it's about the Ninja Turtles traveling around. They come to the Amazon, they meet up with Gorilla Gorilla, and together they team up and take down a bunch of Amazon destroying jerks. Very straightforward, but... It's very cool at the same time. Now that you know, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Gorilla Gorilla from the Super 7 at TMNT Ultimates. Here we go. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. I laugh because, well, once you have this figure in hand, you will totally get the joke. But... If you haven't subscribed, do all that, and yeah, let's, let's just dive right into the accessories because we have a lot to talk about, a lot of hands in particular. Now, keep in mind, the hands are going to be very specific to very specific weapons. These are more so the hands you could hold, a banana grenade, a grenade, that kind of thing. The hands are all sculpted really nicely, lots of nice details. It's mostly plastic, not a whole heck of a lot of paint, but you can clearly see that, yes, the sculpted design is very much there, and it looks really good. Same thing with these hands. Now, you basically get two trigger finger sort of gun holding hands, one of which I already stuck a knife in there, and of course some of the paint bled off, so be careful. But as you can see on this one, the trigger finger is not molded with the other fingers. This one is going to be more for the gun. This one right here, you can clearly see that it's molded for the banana bazooka, which yes, we'll talk more about that in just a few. But you will have to heat up all the hands, if you want to use them for the various weapons, just letting you know. You also get some outstretched monkey hands. Those are pretty cool. Again, same type of styling, same type of plastic, the colors, everything is the same, and you have a little articulation to them. Now, back to the banana bazooka right here. This is very cool. It's all green. It has a vine wrapped around it. It has some silver accents. It's got the trigger, it's got the handle, everything looks really cool. You even have this little part of the vine that you could technically make it kind of a dual held kind of dealio. Now, like I said, you're going to have to heat this up a lot, a lot, a lot. These are very, very tough to fit the weapons in and have any type of working sensation of this figure, just FYI. But once you get it in hand, ah, it does hold it really nicely. When it comes to holding it with two hands in this sort of pose, you can't really do it. It doesn't really look naturalistic. It's just there. The banana accessory of which, yes, <laughs> is very cool. It's a peeled back banana and it has a hole at the bottom. And yes, you will fit it into the bazooka and the banana bazooka is born. That is just... <laughs> That's why these Ninja Turtle figures are a lot of fun. And yes, in posing him out, in holding the bazooka, at least above your head, that looks pretty cool. And yes, you can get him holding it outright. He will stand. The arms, the legs are tight. You're going to have to get him just in the right stance. But yes, he will hold it. He just doesn't hold it straight enough. That's the one gripe that I have with it. But overall, the fun of this, I just wish it kind of shot the bananas itself. It's pretty darn cool. You also get a coconut. No, it's not a bowling ball. 
<laughs> but the coconut looks great. Yes, you guessed it. That banana bazooka becomes a coconut buster. I love that you have an option here. In fact, I would have loved more options. Maybe even a monkey you could shoot out of that thing. Same kind of gripes. Can't really hold it all that straight. Yada yada. But yes, at least he can hold the bazooka. You can fire out bananas, coconuts. You get the idea. It's pretty fun overall, and it does look great. Now, when it comes to the actual gun, there are a couple ideas that I have for this. First of all, the paint is really nice. It has this huge vine on it, vines draped around it. Very befitting of a Gorilla Gorilla. I totally like it. It's very Playmates Toys, and then also Super 7 TMNT Ultimates, but I wish you had an option, being that it is for a collector, and I like options, that you could remove the vine off the top. I think that that would've been great. Also, like I said, this is the very specific hand to fit around this because it has the trigger finger that you can move the finger around and get it on the trigger. So everything looks great. It's just that one gripe that that vine is always there. And no, because of the vine shape, I thought maybe you could slip it around his arm, have it like on his shoulder. You can't really do that. However, yes, he does hold it nice. It's a light gun, which is a nice touch. That means it's not too top heavy. He holds it great. I definitely dig it. Again, very playmates with the vine. I just wish you had the option to remove it or heck, maybe even a vine strap. That way you could kind of adjust it and yes, actually put it on his arm. You also get this giant oversized monkey knife. As you can clearly see, I've tried doing it with the hands and taken off some of the brown paint on the handle. So just be wary of that. That's the only weapon I had any problems with. And unlike the gun holding hands, you can use a variety of the hands to hold the knife and he looks very naturalistic with it. You also get a couple grenades. Green grenades, black pin, you get the idea. One of these days, I would like to see a grenade or even a pin you could remove from the grenade. I think that would be kind of cool because that monkey's fingers aren't fitting through those grenade holds anytime soon. But yes, again, various hands can hold these grenades at your leisure. You decide. It all looks pretty cool. I just wish he had more weapon storage, to be honest. And I say that full well showing you a giant bandolier with then a bunch of bananas. Either they're bananas to eat or they're banana grenades. I kind of like the idea of both. It could go either way. And yes, every single banana is removable from this bandolier. The bandolier simply just slips right onto him. It's easy peasy. It looks great. I like that. I like that every single banana is removable. That is a nice touch. That's what I would want to see. You can hold the bananas. You can call them grenades. You could just have them be food. It doesn't matter. I just wish you had a movable jaw to then eat the banana. But you do have this more angry snarling, growling sort of gorilla head. He does have some great paint, except for the one little bit of paint chippage right there on his front tooth. But overall, yes, I like that they gave you an option. And yes, a more mean-spirited gorilla gorilla definitely fits the character. You also get a pair of glasses, aviators, whatever you want to call them, silver, black lenses, that totally works. And yes, it does fit on the more neutral head portrait including kind of like a thumbs up hand. You can do that too. On the snarling angry head portrait, because of the shape of the head, they could kind of go on, but they don't fit as well as the neutral head. They're kind of more beneficial if you have them up, which kind of makes them look cool, if I'm being honest. Now, you do get the army helmets. I totally dig that. You got the straps. It's a very form-fitting helmet. You can see that it will slip onto his hair sculpt, the detail, the paint wash, everything looks great. And yes, like I said, from the glasses to the helmets, those will fit nicely on the neutral head. The helmet does fit on the snarling angry head. You just kind of have to position it backwards a little bit more than you would the neutral head, but yes, it does fit snugly. Glasses and helmet for the snarling head, that's something for you to decide. It doesn't really fit, but you can kind of fudge it if you'd like. This big mamma jamma figure, this thing, it's like a workout making this video, just FYI, but he's huge, he's heavy. Now. The heads aren't loose by any means, but I'm just gonna show you this because I wanna be able to swap these easy peasy. The main neutral head I found to be easily swappable. Didn't have to heat up anything, pulls on, pulls off. The more snarling head has a smaller peg hole for whatever reason. It's not to say that it's not gonna fit, but you're gonna have to heat it up much like the hands 
to really get it to work properly. But for the time being of just showing the articulation, we'll have the more neutral head uh, going. The overall figure, the paint, the sculpt, it's impressive, it's glorious, they did a great job. They have Gorilla right there on his name tag, you have the dog tags that are removable if you wanna pull those off, but you have the jacket, nice gold for the zip ridge, all the little buckles, everything else is painted, the huge arms, the green for the back of the jacket is really nice, you have his camouflage pants, that all looks great, you got big clawed hopper feet, you got peg holes on the bottom, the sculpt, rocks that is no question in general it looks great the one kind of gripes that i have with this is in the head portrait he's a little we'll say not befitting if anything of the tmnt ultimates he's kind of cutesy but not in a tmnt ultimates kind of way you do get plenty of articulation in the head the arms are ratcheted that will keep them nice and sturdy he does have bicep swivel his arms are so big it really doesn't do much, if I'm being honest with you, but it is there if you need it. He has single jointed elbows. They are ratcheted, they will spin. You have his big old hands, those will spin, those have articulation. He does have some waist articulation and upper diaphragm. At first, mine was kind of stuck, but kind of moving around, just go easy with it. Yes, he has some upper diaphragm, not so much a crunch, more so just a swivel, if anything. The belts, the belt loops, the pouches, the pants, again, everything looks great, he'll kick out. And I am happy to say, much like the other TMNT Ultimates we've been looking at lately, nothing is loose. He has single jointed knees, it spins at the knee, he's got these big old feet, they rock, they move up and down. He's a very solid figure, it's like a murder weapon. I'm not even joking. But the coolest thing, I will say this, is that for me, he has a very specific sort of pose. And I like that you can get the knuckles on the ground, holding a knife, you get one foot forward like he's running, charging like a gorilla gorilla would, gun in hand, that looks really cool. That's how I will display him. The gun, while it's a pain, such a pain, to have to heat these things up to just use the weapons and everything else, fine. Yes, you will have to do that, but the results are very cool. So again, he poses nicely, but this would be the main pose that I think looks the best. In terms of the scalature with the other TMNT Ultimates, as I said, I don't know necessarily if the art style, the look of him directly fits the other characters, but he is massive compared to the Turtles and he's massive compared to all the other TMNT Ultimates. I mean, you have Triceraton and some of the robots now, but yes, he's the biggest, he's the heaviest, he's in charge. He's Gorilla Gorilla for a reason, and he does look good. But I will say what I'm most stoked about with this figure is that they finally did a figure that has never existed. It's kind of a, a what if to the whole Playmates line in the sense of that, but truth be told, He's more of an Archie Comics TMNT Adventures character, if anything. So if you are primarily a NECA Toys TMNT collector, Archie TMNT Adventures, the cartoon series, yes, they will also go really well with this guy. And to be honest with you, that's why I wanted this. It's a new character. It's a character we've never gotten. Thank you, Super 7. And no, I know what you're all gonna say. It's not Sergeant Bananas. It's a different character. It's a whole rights thing. You have Sergeant Bananas for the toys, and they had to do Gorilla Gorilla. It's two separate characters, but in a way, it's kind of like Sergeant Bananas could be this guy's sidekick if you really needed him to be. They both look cool, and they are both awesome. So, that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Super 7 TMNT Ultimates, the Gorilla Gorilla. He's pretty darn cool overall. I have some gripes, you have to heat up the hands. He's too big for his own good. He's very clunky, you gotta take everything off and put everything. Those are gripes aside, I'm complaining. It's like first world TMNT collector problems. It's not really a problem, but it's stressful sometimes. But overall, I think they did a great job and I'm just happy to have a new character on my shelf that is saying something again for the collection that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Gorilla Gorilla. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to pick them up yourself from Entertainment Earth. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.